Good morning guys, welcome back to another week of my life. This is going to be my first full week at home in 2024, which I literally can't believe. I got back from three weeks in the Caribbean, was home for 48 hours, and then I flew right to Portugal with EF Ultimate Break. I had the most amazing week. I'm so, so, so glad that I went on that trip by myself, took the leap of faith. I met so many awesome people, loved the views. It was just a great, great trip. I had a nine hour flight home yesterday and I landed like at 5 p.m. So needless to say, I needed the night to rest, recover. Usually the Europe time difference hits me pretty hard, but I actually was able to stay up until like 11 p.m. and then I slept until 9.30 a.m. this morning, so hopefully my jet lag is not too bad the next few days. So yeah, I am home for the next two weeks, and then I am driving down to Florida for a month to just hang out in an Airbnb down there, which I'm really looking forward to, um, but definitely some much needed time at home. I am very behind on blog posts and YouTube videos, so this vlog will be very much some Starbucks work days. Today is actually exciting because I'm supposed to be seeing one of my best friends from college, Sam. I usually refer to him as Boy Sam in vlogs. Um, he played baseball at Kent and he is actually getting his master's at Michigan State right now and they have a weekend series against Maryland. So he is here and he is supposed to be catching today. So I'm going to drive down for tonight's game which is at 6 p.m. and then hopefully we'll grab dinner after. I haven't seen him in two full years so I'm super excited. The game was supposed to be at two and it just got postponed because it is pouring rain like I came home to 50 degrees and the grossest rain you've ever seen so I'm just praying that that doesn't get canceled but I'm downstairs now and I'm gonna give you an unboxing I had quite a few things come in the mail while I was gone this week the first being this straw hat from GG Pip it's like a cowboy style I think it's so cute I should have sized up though I'm usually a size 55 in their hats, and I should have gotten a 57, but still super cute. Then I got three pairs of shoes from this brand called Canas. Um, I got these little brown block heels that are super cute. I got these little straw espadrille type of sandals, and then I got a new pair of gold lace-up sandals. I'm super excited about these. Um, I used to have a pair from Express that I wore 24-7 in the summertime, and they ended up breaking while I was studying abroad, and these are very similar to them. And then I actually got my first ever package from Triangle, which I am so excited about, you guys. I got these blue bathing suit bottoms and then this top to go with. And all their bathing suits come in this like amazing neoprene type of bag. I can't wait to start using these when I travel. When I see a lot of pack with me's on Instagram, a lot of the girls are using these. And I finally have one of my own. Then I got this blue and yellow little triangle style. I've never gotten suits from them, so I got an extra small because that's usually my true size. And the tops look a little tiny. I think I probably could have sized up to a small but super cute. This brand called Eva plus Avo sent me these candles, Peace, Love, and Balance. And then I also got this moisturizing leave-in cream. Not 100% sure what that is. Pacifica just sent me a mascara. And then the brand Skylar sent over one of their hair and body mists. I actually use one of these every single day. So I'm super excited about this new scent. It's called Boardwalk Delight. And then I've got two batches of swimsuits here. This one is from Shein slash Amazon, and then this one is from Cupshe. I'm super excited. I've got a brand deal to film with them tomorrow, but for right now, since it's so dreary out, I just wanted to kind of show you what I've got. I am playing some major catch up right now. I didn't use my computer at all when I was in Portugal, and I have lots of brand deals to submit. I've showed you guys a sauna before, but this is what me and my management team use in order to stay organized. So basically over here, I have all of the collaborations that I have going on that are currently in the works. Then I have needs approval, and right here is a bunch of content that I am waiting to either receive edits for or is just like waiting to be reviewed by the brand and then approved to post is stuff that is ready to go it's going live next week so I've got stuff with Hollister going live Lulu's going live Princess Polly a few other brands but right now I've got to make edits to an impress nails collab a Jurgens self tanning collab a Poshmark collab and a pack with me video so doing that right now mostly just updating voiceovers adding new captions things like that Without a doubt, my most asked question is when I'm posting to Poshmark next. Spring break is right around the corner and I'm getting the perfect sunless tan with the help of Jurgens. 
It's no secret that I'm always on the move and one of my most asked questions I was super productive on the plane yesterday and edited four different YouTube videos, including my Puerto Rico vlog, which is going up tomorrow. I just added the music and finished up a few final things, and now I am saving this. I'm going to have this process to YouTube while I'm gone. game time keeps changing. Originally, it was supposed to be at 2, and then it got moved to 6, and then it got moved to 4. So I'm getting dressed right now because tentatively it is at 4 p.m. It has literally been years since I've been to a baseball game where I needed to wear leggings underneath of my jeans. But today is the day. I used to go to every one of Sam and Mike's games when I was in college. But obviously that was a couple of years ago. And I just, wow, I do not miss the layering aspect for it. It says it's 45 degrees outside right now, but it feels so much colder than that. Um, when I just went outside and after three weeks in the Caribbean, I am just like, wow, this is horrible. Fingers crossed it will stay mostly dry, but okay, sweater, black sweater over top. I think I'm going to wear this white puffer jacket from Hollister. And then I'm debating between either black Converse or my Uggs. Okay, I know I'm going to regret it, but I'm wearing Converse. They just look so much better with the jeans. And I'm debating on jacket. I have this Free People puffer and then I also have that Hollister puffer. I think I'm just going to bring both. I'll probably end up needing both, to be honest. Um, my natural hair is herring today. Um, usually I don't wear my hair natural, but because it's like so damp outside and I know it's going to start raining, I'm not even bothering styling it. It doesn't look so bad. I popped on an Amazon trucker to go with. And then Kendra Scott sent me this cute little baseball. So I'm wearing that. And I look so cute. I miss this. Eating somebody's leftover Chick-fil-A french fries. Not sure. All right, getting ready to roll out of here. I've got about a 45 minute drive ahead of me to University of Maryland. We made it to the field and we're in full swing. Sam is batting at ninth today and he's catching. So thankfully I've got a front row seat and can see him pretty good. <laughs> Go ball, go ball, go ball, go ball, go ball. It's the sixth inning. We're winning four to two, but Sam is 0 for three. So every time I was filming, Sam was not getting a hit. So I decided for his last at bat that I wouldn't film, and then he got a single. So and he's on third now. There we go, Sam. All right, they won. I totally forgot this is college baseball and you can't just like take them. They have to ride back with the team. So they're gonna ride back to the hotel and I'm gonna drive to the hotel and pick up Sam so we can go out to dinner. But I'm freezing. There is just truly nothing better than seeing your college best friend. Like, wow, I needed that so badly, you guys. I didn't end up vlogging with Sam, but we went to dinner and we just chit-chatted for like another two hours afterwards. And it was so good to see one another. There are just some friends where you pick up exactly where you left off and you blink and two years goes by. And Sam is definitely one of those people for me. And it was just really good to catch up. And I'm lucky because I actually know that I'm gonna see him in September which is awesome because long distance friendship is so much easier when you have a like next date in sight. So that's awesome. I haven't sharked Dyson to my hair in forever, 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 but my entire for you page right now is videos of people doing their blowout. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it today. Anytime I am using the blow dryer on my hair, I always use the Wow Dream Coat Prep Spray. This stuff is so good. I'm almost out of it, but it's amazing. If you get really frizzy hair when you blow dry it, you just need that and it will like change your life. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a content day right now. I am about to start working today. I'm going to take mirror photos in these swimsuits and I'm gonna film a YouTube video with these. Then I'm going to film a TikTok with the cup shoe swimsuits and take mirror photos of those. And then I'm going to film a TikTok and take mirror photos in all of these American Eagle slash Airy clothes that I ordered. These came like a week ago. I'll do a quick run through of everything in a minute, but just going to 
light my candles, start some music, and get working. Right now, I'm burning at the Perfect Christmas from Bath & Body Works. You guys are probably like, Mackenzie, a Christmas candle? It's literally March. Well, I haven't been home, and I received this for Christmas, so it's still going strong. Hello, friends. It is that time of year again. Bikini season is right around the corner. I am eating some lunch right now. I had buffalo chicken tenders and french fries last night. The french fries are cooking. Um, and I've got a side of strawberries. Okay, I switched gears and I just filmed a ton of TikToks. I filmed one with the Shein suits. I filmed one with the cup she suits. I filmed one with the airy stuff. Filmed one with the American Eagle stuff. And then I filmed like a general spring styling one. And my room's a disaster. Look at it. Like, what the actual beep is going on here? I'm going to move all of this stuff to my bed because this is going to be the background of the photos I'm about to take. I filmed first because 3 p.m. is like prime mirror time in my bedroom when it's sunny outside. Like, look at that lighting. So, we're about to film some stories and take some still photos and all these things. How cute are these American Eagle jeans? I love them. I'm going to exchange them for a uh, short, but I love. Going on hour four of filming and shooting. I never, ever, ever do this much content on a Sunday, but I'm vibing. I am like can't stop listening to this song by Bob Marley. All right, this is what we call a busy day, you guys. I had all these fun, airy, and American Eagle pieces that I tried on. This was actually not sponsored. I just purchased this stuff and wanted to share some new arrivals with you guys. And then I ended up trying on all of those swimsuits and taking pictures in those. That way I could link everything to Like to Know It. I have been like super on my Like to Know It grind lately. So if you guys are ever looking for links, my Like to Know It is in the description bar of every single YouTube video. My account name is Style by McKenz. And my new website also has links to like everything you could ever want on it under the shop tab so you guys can find things there wow it felt good to be so productive today it is like 4 20 now and as much as i do not want to do this i am like let's just get it over with mackenzie i have quite a few things that i want to list to poshmark this week while i'm home i just have so much to get rid of you guys obviously i'm not moving anytime soon but i still have so much stuff and i'm like you know it's time it's time to start getting rid of it, you guys. So I'm going to take pictures in a bunch of this stuff and list it tonight. It is 5 p.m. Just wrapped up my work day. And I am running to the grocery store for my mom. She needs wraps for dinner. We're making chicken Caesar wraps. And I need to get gas. $3.25 today. $41 to fill the tank. We're having shrimp Caesar wraps today. I don't think I've ever had these. Mom and dad eat them, but I've never been home when we've had it. But it looks good. And we've got roasted potatoes. Every day when I'm home, I eat one true fruit after dinner. Mom goes, how do you still have those? Because I've literally had this bag open since like December. I usually only eat one, but today I'm finishing the bag. Hey everybody, you're probably like, where did you disappear to after you ate that true fruit blueberry? Well, I sat on the couch and talked to Sam for two hours. And then I actually moved... Then I actually moved upstairs and talked to her upstairs for two hours. It's 10 p.m. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. We're going to have a good, productive, busy week. I can feel it. Um, woke up early this morning on the right side of the bed, and I started a new book. I am reading The Coworker by Frida McFadden. I've been kind of in a reading, I wouldn't say a reading slump, but I just haven't been reading too much because I've been traveling, and when I am like constantly go, 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 I honestly don't really read that much, but I picked this up when I was in Portugal from the oldest bookstore in the whole world. And I really like it so far. Freedom McFadden's really easy for me to get through and I wanted a good thriller to captivate my attention. So I read that for a little bit this morning. I just paid my taxes. Unfortunately, I owed money. I did not get a tax return, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. Powered through some emails and I wanna show you guys a look into my planner for this week because it's gonna be a busy one. Planner is from Create365. I use the Happy Planner for those of you that are always asking me and I have a bunch of their stickers too. I don't have any stickers on this week's 
spread yet, but basically I made a master to-do list. That's what I call a to-do list that has everything that needs to get done this week. So it's a lot of blog posts. As you can see, I have a travel and outfit guide blog post that need to go up for New Orleans, Puerto Rico, my cruise, Florida, and Portugal. So that's a total of 10 blog posts. Most of the outfit guides are already written. I just need to add the photos. And then the same is true for YouTube. I've got a cruise vlog, a Florida vlog, a home vlog, and then a Portugal vlog that all need to be edited. So basically what I've done is I've taken this gigantic to-do list and I've broken everything down into different days. That way I can get all this done throughout this week. I've also got lots of sponsored content going up this week, which is what all this blue is. Today I've got a pretty busy day. Um, I already knocked a few things off my to-do list, but I've got a call with my team at one. I have a lip flip slash laser appointment at three and that's like 40 minutes away and then I'm also going to run to the mall I want to exchange a couple of the American Eagle things that I got. okay but first we're gonna shower shave and exfoliate because that is laser hair removal prep you're not allowed to have any lotion on the areas that you're getting lasered or deodorant anything like that um, I just get my armpits and my Brazilian done I've got two sessions left um hopefully i'm still growing hair but it's much thinner and each session it takes a little bit longer to grow back so like i just needed to shave for the first time like within the last week or so so fingers crossed these next two sessions will get rid of it entirely i am about to put on some body oil and lotion on my legs and my like elbows and stuff because my skin is so dry right now from all of the back-to-back -back flights and i've gotten so much sun so I'm starting to just like get kind of scaly. I'm using the Osea, Osea body oil and then Cetaphil moisturizing cream. Little bit of skincare slash makeup. I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water cream. I talk about this all the time. It's like one of my favorite moisturizers ever. When you get a lip flip done, they end up like taking an alcohol wipe and wiping off your lip. So I'm not gonna wear like makeup makeup today, but I'm gonna put on just a little sunscreen. And then for days that I haven't been wearing face makeup, I've been using the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops. I'll just like take a little bit of them and rub them in over top of the sunscreen. I know some people mix them with something. I don't, I literally just put them right on my face. And then I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara. But first I'm putting on a little bit of Babe Lash Serum. I use both the silver tube and the gold tube. I just like paint it over my eyelashes every single day um, before I put mascara on. And this combo makes your lashes grow so insanely long. And then last but not least, I'm just slathering on a fat layer of the Blistex Deep Conditioning Treatment. Okay, light makeup done. Let me show you what I changed into for the day. When I am home, I swear I wear this combo 24-7. This is an airy crew neck sweatshirt. I have this in a bunch of different colors and I reach for it all the time. And then I'm wearing airy crossover yoga pants. Super casual today since I'm going to be spending a majority of my morning in bed working from my computer. This is where I'm going to be for the next few hours piecing together blog posts. I wrote all of these blog posts in the notes section of my computer a few weeks ago when I was on the plane. Right now I'm just copying and pasting this stuff into WordPress. Then I'm going through and linking all of the items from each outfit. Then I'm adding directions to each photo location and then I have to go through and actually pull the photos in. And once they're in WordPress, you have to go in and add alternate text, a title, and a description. A description is like what to wear, Puerto Rico outfits, Puerto Rico outfit ideas, what to pack for Puerto Rico. And that makes it so that when someone goes into Google and they type into the search bar, Puerto Rico outfit ideas, my website is ranking on that first page and it's like showing as a suggested website slash these photos are coming up in the photos section. Very tedious, but it is absolutely necessary. So. All right, first two blog posts are up. I've got my New Orleans outfits and then I just uploaded my what to wear in Puerto Rico for spring break. Gonna have some leftover shrimp from last night and make myself another wrap. It was really good. I can just feel a fixation for this meal coming on. It was so good yesterday. I'm so excited. We've got the Parmesan croutons, lettuce, Caesar, and the shrimp was just like seasoned with like garlic, salt, pepper. Crouton crunch is so good, but like it was so good. I'm so happy I went. 
Yay. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. You liked it? I liked it. Okay, it is 2.25. Just got off of my call with my team. A little bit longer today. Usually status happens every other Monday and it's only like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. But today was a little bit longer because as I was working on my website this morning and like really starting to use it in post blog posts again, there were a few things that I was noticing that I wanted to change. So we just walked through a big list and made some minor edits. If you guys haven't checked out my new website, go do so. I'm so so proud and excited about the way it turned out. Okay, ready for my next round of laser. I am out of my appointment. Uh, not too bad today. And here's what my smile looks like. Cheese. Um, it doesn't look any different like right after. It takes about three to five days for the Botox to set in um, when you get a lip flip. Basically what a lip flip does is it paralyzes this muscle so that when you smile, your lip isn't curling under and creating a gummy smile. It usually lasts about six to eight weeks. It's Botox, not filler. So it's not making your lips any bigger. It's just changing the way that your lips function, if that makes sense. Okay, I was really hoping that they were gonna have the jeans that I wanted in the short. They don't have them in store, so I'm gonna have to order them online. But they have so many cute pairs of shorts right now. And I love this little crochet sweater. I'm home just in time for dinner. Mom made us one of my favorite pasta dishes with feta and spinach. This has lemon in it, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's not the shrimp one that I always make, but it's similar. Hi friends, it's been a few hours, but I've been busy. I posted my Instagram photo for the day. I posted a TikTok. I posted an Instagram reel. Anywho, I also got up my what I wore on my spring break cruise blog post um, featuring 10 different outfit ideas that I wore. Most of these are swimsuits and then cute little sets. So if you guys are looking for some vacation outfit inspo, this is where you can find it. Just a reminder that all the blue text is direct links to shop. If you scroll down to the bottom too, I usually will include the like to know it links as well. And I've been watching Gracie O'Connor's um, old cruise vlogs. It's like eight o'clock right now. I'm going to, I look so brunette, ew. I'm about to take a quick body shower and rinse off. Like, what the hell? This book is so easy to get through. Um, the Coworker, I'm about 100 pages in and I'm like flying through it. It's written like as if it's for a middle schooler. All right, it's like 820 making myself get back to the gym today. It opens at 10. So in the meantime, I'm going to sit in bed, look through my inbox, and get up my Florida outfit guide. I have one left from yesterday's list. Just got dressed for the gym. I am wearing a Free People Movement Good Karma bra. I need to get this in another color. I have two white ones, and I seriously wear this so much. Um, my leggings are Lululemon. They are the Wonder Trains. And then I've got on my Hoka's, grabbing my AirPods, and a water. And we're going to get out of here. You guys know that I love using my treadmill time to be productive and do work-related tasks on my phone. Today, I've got a collaboration with Lulu's going up on TikTok, and it's also an Instagram reel. I've got some corresponding stories going up with it, and it's for graduation dresses. So while I'm in the gym, I'm going to be linking everything to my like to know it and just setting those posts live. So I've been trying to switch up the ab workout that I do to try some new stuff and there's just like, I can't find a Chloe Ting that I like as much as like her OG Perfect 10 that everyone did during quarantine. But getting some abs done. Um, let's rinse off. All right, I'm gonna have a Starbucks work day today and I'm really looking forward to it. I just like need to get out of the house and be productive. My tea and my jeans are both from Hollister. These are like the best jeans ever. I just got them and I'm literally obsessed. My sweater is from Hollister as well. I just have it tied around my shoulders right now, but it's not that warm outside, so I'm gonna have to put it on. We're in Converse. I've got my Louis Vuitton all packed up. My go-to work bag, as you guys know. And I'm about to eat some lunch and then we're gonna get out of here. I'm having last night's leftovers for lunch. It is spring break in my hometown right now, 
so it's empty in here today, which has been super nice. Right now, I'm going to submit a Cupshe collab that I filmed the other day. I'm finishing up my cruise vlog, I just need to add the music, add some text, add in some photos. It should take me like 45 minutes, and then I'm going to process that to YouTube because that's going to go live tomorrow. I've got a couple contracts to sign for my next trip, so I have been working on an email copy. So technically, I pay someone to do my email, but I am such a perfectionist that I have been having a really hard time offloading this task to someone else. Um, so this is what I've been working on. I've been trying to share a lot more of these collages with like bestsellers and just like flat light imagery. Just building out Sunday's email. If you guys are not signed up for my newsletter, I share a lot of this type of stuff in it. So I'll leave a link to sign up down below. YouTube video is processing because I did finish editing that. Okay, I ended up only getting one blog post written, but it's okay. I had a busier day than I expected. I've still been super productive. I'm about to head home so that I don't miss dinner. Um, and I'm gonna add the photos in and set this live. Five hours later and I'm rolling out. I just got home and I have two packages. So let's do a little unboxing. The first stuff is from a brand called Baltic Born. I chose a few swimsuits and they surprised me with a few dresses too. So let's see. First suit is a little high-waisted floral. This is what the top looks like. I also got two different one pieces. This one shoulder one. I've been like super into one pieces lately and since we're getting ready to go to Florida, I figured all of the swimsuits were acceptable. This one is same exact print, just a like plunging neckline. This dress I actually picked out. I thought it was so cute. I love like how colorful this is. Ever since my trip to Portugal, I've been like super into the bright, funky floral colors. Love a good little maxi moment. Then I got a box from a brand called Sunshine Tienda. When I was in 30A with Kylie, we went in and out of a few different boutiques and I kept seeing this hat and trying it on and I almost caved and bought it. It was $130, like I almost did it. And then I was like, Maybe I should try to reach out to them first and see if they'll be able to send it. And the lady was like, yes, oh my God, we would love to send you some hats. And she let me pick three hats, you guys, three hats. I was like, oh my God, that is the sweetest thing in the whole world. So this is the hat I originally wanted. It's got like all this, it's got this super colorful brim, like so precious. So this is the original hat that I wanted. It's got this like really bright, colorful brim. It's so cute. And then I also got just like a plain straw one. This one's a little bit wider. So good, so good. And then they also had these little bucket hats and I was like, oh my God. And it's got like a little rainbow, oh my gosh. And how cute is the package? They said, Dear Mackenzie, enjoy your time in Florida. We hope these hats make your vacation happy. Sunshine Tienda team. So flipping cute. I will leave links to everything down below. I am obsessed. Just dad and I for dinner tonight. Mom's on a date. Anyways, um, but she did make us this crock pot meal. I don't know what this even, what is this? Beef and what's on it? Gravy? Like... It's mushroom and beef mushrooms. I think it's like mushroom soup or something or other. It's like one of those packed few other mixes, things I think. right over rice. We've had it's this. It's a home cooked meal. We've had this forever. Like since we were kids, we used to always eat this. Um, it's easy. Yeah, it's actually really good. I'm. We're not a family that like is like ew the crock pot. Um, I don't come from one of those families. I come from like a, oh crock pot. You know, but it's good. I'm sure mom has the recipe. I'll leave a link down below if she gives it to me. Mm -hmm. I'm like so deep into my eating ice cream every night phase right now. I don't know what it is about this week, but I've just been craving it. We were out of um, drumsticks though, so today I'm just having mint ice cream. Every day after dinner, I sit in this room and I post my Instagram photo, I post my reel, post a TikTok. I just kind of do like more low maintenance tasks like linking. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday 
and it is 8 a.m. I've been waking up around like 7, 7, 15-ish. I usually don't set an alarm. I will just wake up whenever, but my body will typically get me up right around the same time. And I just read for like 30, 40 minutes and I'm really liking it so far. Really easy read. I wish it was a little denser to be honest, um, but definitely what I needed in order to fly through a book. And I just scrolled for about 10, 15 minutes and now I am hopping into my work day. It is 8.05 right now. And my morning pre-gym task is going to be editing a vlog. Took me about two hours to finish up this vlog. Okay, today's gym fit. My bra and my leggings are both from Glow Mode. Super cute. I've got on my hokas as well. Throwing over this little white sweatshirt as well. Just until I walk inside. It's like 10 degrees colder today than it was yesterday. It was actually kind of nice yesterday. It was like 55. Right now it says it's 42 and it's supposed to rain all day. So, bummer. Today I went back to my usual video, which is this one. Get abs in two weeks from four years ago. It has 536 million views. And I think this is the best one. I had a great workout. I'm home from the gym. Someone commented and was like, are you and Devin not friends anymore? I haven't seen you talk about her in a while. She's here, don't worry. <laughs> Hi guys. We're talking about my EF trip and she's trying to go on one. We're talking and I'm eating leftovers from last night. All right, just body showered and put on a little bit of makeup while I finished up talking with Devin. I am going to Starbucks again today. I actually have a call. I'm going to Starbucks to get some work done again today. My pants are from American Eagle. Bodysuit is from White Fox Boutique. I'm wearing a platform Converse and my White Sox hat. Go Mike! <laughs> okay, I've got my favorite seat in the house and I just made my to-do list for today. I actually have a call with Navigare at 2 p.m. to talk about my next trip. I'm going to British Virgin Islands with them. So we're finalizing and working on some details. But in the meantime, I've got a few things I need to get done. In the next hour, I'm about to add the thumbnail tags, schedule this YouTube video for Sunday. I have a contract to sign for a collaboration in Mexico. I need to add the photos to my Portugal outfit guide. I fell asleep last night, pitch some Key West hotels, and then the hour will be up. Portugal blog post is live. I just love these outfits, you guys. Like, I really outdid myself on this one. Hopping on. I feel like I have been working on this blog post for hours, and yet I'm still making like zero progress. I haven't written a travel guide on my new website and right now I am really trying to find ways to make them a little more interactive slash interesting to read. So with that, I'm like kind of playing around with different templates. The good news is that once I do this once, I won't have to do it again. So I'm playing around with like different graphics, like brief itinerary, um, rather than you just reading about the language and the climate, kind of boring. I'm thinking about adding in like one of these graphics. Must do activities I'm working on right now. Restaurants, like what to wear. I'm just like trying to spice things up. Maybe do this type of packing list. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Made us some really good progress through this to-do list in the last two days, but we've still got a long ways to go. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I'm feeling kind of down on myself right now for like not completing a task today, but I'm trying to remind myself that some tasks just take longer than an afternoon's worth of work, you know? Um, the good news is that I'm still gonna be home for another week and a half, so there's plenty of time to work on all these blog posts and get everything done. Um, but it's 5.30, gotta get home for dinner. Mom made us chicken pot pie for dinner tonight. One of my favorite rainy day meals. Well, it's actually Madison's favorite. We're having it early before she comes home. Sorry, Madison. All right, I wanna show you a couple packages that came for me today. First things first, the hat that I had on today, the White Sox one is from Etsy. It's from an Amazon seller called Tomato Cheeks, and they sent me a style by one too. So freaking cute, you guys. I love the blue. I really wish that it was black because black just goes with more, but 
I think when I'm in St. Pete and I want something colorful, I'm gonna really like the other one. I also got some stuff from Abercrombie. First thing that I got are these white linen pants. I'm obsessed. And then I got this white little linen shirt to go with. I also ordered the shorts. I have a feeling that I, the shorts are going to be a little bit big. Um, I haven't ordered stuff from Abercrombie in a really long time, so I wasn't really sure what size to get. I ended up getting a double zero, but I have a feeling I should have gotten the triple. These jeans, they accidentally sent me last week in black. I loved the fit of them so much. They're like a low-rise baggy fit, and I ended up getting the light wash too. Um, a lot of people ask me in denim if I get a regular or a short since I am 5'2". I always get a regular and then I cut the bottom of the jeans with scissors if I need to but I'm like a 5'2 person that has regular length legs like if you know me and have met me in real life like I'm very long legged so usually I'll just buy a regular and chop them if I need you know because I don't want to run the risk of them being too short like if they're too long you can do something about it too short you can't then I got these high-waisted shorts almost short season and then I got this adorable yellow dress. I saw another creator post in this same style, and it was so pretty on her. So I picked this up. It would be the perfect Easter dress, but I don't think it's going to be warm enough on Sunday. I'm definitely going to bring this to St. Pete. I love it. Isn't it funny? Because, like, when I travel, this is so my style. Like, I only wear colors and really frilly things. And then when I'm home, like, I swear I only wear black and white and, like, hats and I dress very boyish. Um... Anyways, I'll have that stuff linked down below. I also got some stuff from Pretty Little Thing. I usually pick out like fun, travel-y type of selects from them, but because I'm about to sit put in St. Pete and really only be in a bathing suit, I decided that I would give some wedding guest dresses a go to try to share some more affordable styles. So I've got this pale yellow one. I haven't tried like formal wear from them. So I'll have to keep you guys posted. These dresses are like under $50. They definitely feel like they're under $50, if you know what I mean. I love the back of that one. Um, but I'm curious how, if like they're going to look expensive slash chic once they're styled. This one's like a fun little floral. Kind of hard to see some of these dresses because a lot of them have like ruched and like um, ruffles and stuff like that. This was such a pretty orange online and in person it literally looks like puke like it, it's like not a cute color in person um and then i got this green little one shoulder moment anyways it's like eight o'clock right now and i really like feel like i should keep working on this blog post but i'm like it's eight o'clock mackenzie like just go to bed so i think i'm gonna shower and read for a little bit the worst part is that my body keeps waking me up at seven but because of daylight savings it's still like kind of dark out and it makes me want to go back to bed but i'm not doing that hopping into my book this morning i am working on editing the bathing suit haul that i filmed the other day this is going to go live on friday all right getting dressed for the gym today i am wearing the airy like long line cami bra and then my favorite, favorite leggings on planet Earth are the airy crossovers. I wear them all the time. I honestly never wear my black ones to the gym. Like, you know when you like designate something as like loungewear, then it's just like loungewear in your brain. That's how I feel about my black ones, but these blue ones I will wear to the gym um, all the time. Same little crew neck as yesterday. Hoka's, we're actually not gonna leave for the gym just yet. I sold tons of stuff to Posh and we're gonna package up all that first. <laughs> got a gigantic batch of Poshmark stuff ready to be taken to the post office. Like over 30 packages. All right, ready to get a workout in. Cranking out a good little treadmill session today. My workout summary, I ended up walking at a speed of 3.3 today and an incline of nine. Quick rinse. As I'm sitting here putting on a little bit of makeup for the day, I'm realizing like, 
how many of you guys probably think it's so silly that I like get dressed and ready and like put makeup on and do my hair every single day even when I'm really just going to Starbucks and seeing like maybe five people total um, and then coming back home but if you are someone that works from home then you know um, like how hard work-life balance can be and how easy it is for all of the days to just kind of blend together so for me acting like I'm going into the office getting out of the house um, and kind of following a normal routine helps me feel more normal I guess and maybe more relatable to some of you guys that um, do not work from home and obviously aren't content creators. I hope that makes sense and I hope that you guys don't think it's too silly. Um, anyways, I have not washed my hair since literally Sunday and it's honestly still doing pretty good. I feel like as the week goes on my hair starts to look darker and darker but to be honest it's really not that greasy especially for working out every single day. Um, but I just put a little bit of dry shampoo in it. I love the Living Proof one. And then I just gave my ends a little bit of shine since they're looking a little dry. I love the Living Proof Vanishing Oil. I've been using that and I've also been using the Virtue Healing Oil. Um, like usually for day four or five hair, my hair like needs to be slicked back, like slick slicked back. But I'm still in the hat mode of dirty hair you know what I mean we're like my ends don't look too bad so today I'm wearing my new style by hat and then I've got on cute blue sweatshirt I'm wearing the same blue leggings went comfy today um because I'm gonna be just typing away I do have a meeting at 2 p.m with dip and daisies but it's gonna be super casual just a quick little phone call so KK, I've got my bag all packed. I'm ready for a productive work day I'm about to go eat some lunch though really quick before I leave Today, I'm having leftover chicken pot pie. I ended up not getting a drink today. I just got water and a cake pot. I haven't had them all week. I decided to treat myself. I love the pepper cake one. All right, I am scheduling this video to go live tomorrow. And I just had to send in a voiceover for another brand. Okay, I'm getting ready to hop on my call. I am back to working on my Portugal itinerary. My goal is to get this live today. I'm sorry I'm the worst vlogger ever and literally just stopped talking to you guys, but I left Starbucks at like four because I was so cold. Like I was like freezing. I was like, I can't sit there any longer. So I ended up coming home and then I called Mike and I got sidetracked because I talked with him for like an hour. Everybody say yay because Mike just found out that he is going to double A, which is a step up in the minor leagues from what he was in last year. If you're in double A, you can still get the call from the White Sox, but you know, like each level that you move up is a good thing. So yay, that's exciting because he'll be playing in Alabama um, to start the season and we just, we're catching up. Um, anyways, then we ate dinner right after I got off the phone and we had steak and potatoes and I totally forgot to show you guys. Just set a couple partnerships live and I am trying to work out some kinks on my blog post. My Lisbon travel guide is ready, but I'm having a couple of issues and I can't exactly figure out why. So I'm working on it right now. I don't know if you guys can see right now, but the sky is like literally insane right now. All right, so my twin sister Madison, as you guys know, is at West Virginia University right now, finishing up her master's degree. And I have been using her room as a gigantic dumping ground since she's been gone. And she just called us and told us that she's actually coming home for Easter. She wasn't planning on it. So now I'm like scrambling to make her floor seeable um so i just put a bunch of stuff away i have two ikea bags over here that are basically all things that i'm gonna bring to st pete i just threw all my swimsuits and workout clothes like just clean sweaters and sweatshirts and stuff that have been coming back to me in the laundry that i want to bring with me i've just kind of started setting aside i am leaving in nine days so all that stuff is over there okay then i've got in front of me a suitcase because unlike last year i do need a suitcase because i'm going to be flying to ohio to present my scholarship and to speak at fashion week and stuff like that so 
I do need a suitcase for that trip. So I'm gonna just pack up all my shoes on one side and all my purses, hats, accessories. In reality, I don't need like tons of stuff for this month in Florida just because like I'm gonna be spending most of my days like working and just kind of being in a routine, kind of like what you guys have seen in this vlog, just beach style. But I'm going to be doing a lot of styling at home, filming reels and TikToks and things like that. And I want to be able to have a good amount of accessories. And since I'm driving my car, it kind of doesn't really matter how much stuff I bring. So I don't want to hear it if you think I'm overpacking. And then on her bed, scary sight right now, but it's all stuff that I need to film with tomorrow. So I've got some Hollister stuff. I've got the Baltic Born stuff that I showed you guys the other day. I want to film a reel with this pretty little thing stuff, not sponsored, just organic. Same with the Abercrombie stuff. I do just want to like film a reel with those basics. And then I have a Halara YouTube video to film as well. And over here, I literally have three gigantic laundry baskets worth of stuff. You guys are probably like, oh my god, Mackenzie, you're the worst sister ever. I'm the best and worst sister ever because, yes, I have been hoarding this stuff in the corner of Madison's room, but it's all stuff that I want to get rid of. So what I'm going to let Madison do is go through all of it and see if she wants to keep any of it, bring it back to school. Um, she's in the middle of like interviewing for tons of jobs. I have a lot of business casual stuff. So basically, I'm going to give her free reign and then I'm going to list whatever she doesn't want to Poshmark next week and do one more Poshmark dump before I head down to Florida. Capiche? Kabosh. I slept like crap last night, you guys. Like, so bad. I couldn't fall asleep for hours. Ugh. So, I slept in a little bit until 8.15, 8.30. And, unfortunately, I feel less well-rested than any other day this week. But, it's okay. It happens. I just read for a little bit. And now I need to get up and ready because I have a meeting at 9.30. <laughs> So many people kept stopping me and saying like, what is that? What is that? And like, you know, when you're at- All right, I am off to the gym. I am wearing a sports bra and leggings from Glow Mode. And then my shoes are same hokas that I've been wearing. <laughs> I really only had plans to stay on for 30 minutes today, but I got sidetracked and just did 50. Using the Bumble and Bumble bonding repair. I'm skipping oil today since I'm gonna be trying on a bunch of different like silk dresses and I'm just doing a layer of this all over my body, this on my face, and then this as a little detangler slash leave-in conditioner on my My shrimp wrap earlier this week was inspiring me to make a wrap today because we didn't have any leftovers. So I'm eating chicken tender. And I put cheese, avocado, ranch, and then we have these like crispy tortilla things. And I was like, maybe that will like give this the crunch that I really liked about my shrimp wrap. It's basically just a doctored up chicken tender wrap. It's good. All right, I loved the way that my hair lasted the last few days after using the shark. So I'm about to give it a good blow dry slash blowout session like we did the other day. I am fully ready. Hair is just blown out. Makeup is same as usual. Well, actually, no. I switched up my eyeliner today. It is brown instead of black. Um, and my lip flip has, like, fully set in right now. See? Cute. I like it. I feel like this is the first one that I've done where I, like, really see a noticeable difference. Like, my smile looks much fuller, I feel like. Right here. Like, my lip is definitely not curling up the same way. It looks super good. Um, I love this color blue, you guys. Like, I feel like it makes my eyes, like, stand out so much. Um, but anyways, all right, I'm about to film Halara Hall first. It's my first order of business. So you know the drill. I'm putting on some music. Right now, I'm listening to Randall King's new album, When My Baby's in Boots. I really like it. Um, I've got my candle burning and tripod set up. Let's get her done. <laughs> Okay, moving on from active wear to wedding guest dresses. I've got a batch of stuff from Abercrombie and then I'm going to film a reel with that pretty little thing stuff that came earlier in this vlog. Um, my Abercrombie stuff came late last night and I am obsessed with this dress. I love the yellow. Um, I really just wanted to showcase some new styles. I actually don't have a wedding until September so I'm sure I'll find something before then. 
But this, I really like this, you guys. I'm a fan. Pretty little thing. Dresses are like super cheap quality, but they kind of look iconic on. I'm filming a TikTok with them right now. Some days I move faster than others when I'm filming, and today is one of those where I'm definitely moving a little bit slower. A lot of the things that I've been filming with needed to be steamed, needed to be ironed. I'm now filming a TikTok with some of that Baltic born stuff that was sent, and I just love this one piece. It's so cute. I have been working up a storm, you guys. I just filmed four different TikToks. And then I took mirror pictures in all the Abercrombie dresses, all the Pretty Little Thing dresses, and all the Halara items. It is now 4.30 p.m. I'm about to film an Instagram story set and take some photos in all of those Abercrombie pieces. Just some super simple, basic, everyday outfits. And then if I have time before dinner, I am going to film a TikTok just talking through all those same pieces. We're really just trying to like double dip and give you guys content on all different platforms. Phew, what a freaking day, you guys. It is. 545 and I am closing up shop. I'm exhausted. I feel like I've been yapping all day. But I got some good filming in. I've stockpiled quite a bit of content, enough to get me through my first few days in Florida so I can adjust, have some beach time, and like not be so frantic to have TikTok and real content, if you know what I mean. Fam is getting ready to head out to dinner off to Hornet's Nest, as always. Um, my top is from Pumi. Amazon had the best skims dupe and then Hollister cargo pants because I want to be comfy. I'm wearing Converse and my hat says Coors Cow. I'm like really in my hat era as you can tell. Coors Cowboy. Uh, it's from Ron Rebellion. Hey guys, welcome back to South We are at the Hornet's Nest. I got the chicken stinger dinner because I've never been here and I've never tried. I've never tried it before. Oh good, I don't want that. I got grilled chicken sandwich today. Hornet's Nest was delicious. We just spent some good quality family time together. And now I am curling up. I'm going to finish this book before I go to bed. Rise and shine, you guys. It's Saturday, and I am aware that this vlog has been going on for entirely too long, but I'm just simply going to keep it going because I, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, I finished The Coworker. I thought that the ending was a little anticlimactic, but I still liked it. I think Freedom McFadden's a really great read if you want something to kind of get you back into reading, get you out of the slump, an easy read. The like speed and ease of a Colleen Hoover, but like in mystery, suspenseful form, if that makes sense, is how I would describe Frida. I finished that, and this morning I sat and linked a bunch of stuff to LTK because Aerie is having a huge sale right now, like 30 to 70% off everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, I filmed a bunch of stories like a week ago and I just posted all of them and linked everything. I'd been like waiting and saving them in case there was a sale. And so I just did all that and then I got ready. Um, I'm wearing same shirt as yesterday. My jeans are from Abercrombie, same white Converse, super casual. My mom and I are going to head out and just kind of have a little shopping moment. And then this afternoon we are going to hit a brewery and then we're gonna see the Mannions for dinner. So it should be some good wholesome fun. My hair is looking so dark. We're at the Outlet Mall. We're in New Balance right now. I'm trying these on. They're so cute. Mom actually came in looking for them. I came in American Eagle to try on a couple pairs of shorts that just launched. And unfortunately, they don't have my size in store. They only have the 24s, and I'm usually like a 23 here. So I've got some gapping in the back, but these are so cute. Calvin sets have been my absolute weakness lately. I'm obsessed with this new color, and our outlet always has the best sales. We're in Lulu now. Um, when I was in Florida, I almost bought these shorts, and I didn't. And I'm so glad I didn't because Halara ended up sending me a pair in like the same color. But I am like wanting a scuba so bad, you guys. I also love this fabric. I've never felt it in person, but I see it a lot on my Instagram reels and stuff. So incredibly soft. They have it in this color too. Um, Mom let me redeem her Sephora birthday gift and I got the Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner. Logan, if you're watching this, she was begging me to try it. Love it. We're at Costco now picking up a few things for this week at home. Coming here on a Saturday is like instant regret because it's always utter chaos, especially the day before. Hey everybody, 
We're home from our shopping adventure. I only ended up getting the Calvin set. Oh, and and mom's free birthday gift. My two dollar oh. Mm-hmm. I'm eating dad's leftover french fries from Hornet's Nest right now. It's like three o'clock. Three o'clock and we're getting ready to head out to a little brewery for some family time. Hey, you, so you couldn't tell we didn't make it to a brewery. I don't know why, but we didn't make it. Anyways, we're on our way to dinner. We're hitting Coastal Flats with the Manions. Funny that that bridge can be 30,000 cars a day. What up? Chase is home from college. Everybody though. say yay! Chase is home from college. Yeah. I'm gonna rate my meal a nine. Here, take it and pass it. Um, <laughs> server was very good to me. Um, he gave me Texas toast on my burger because I couldn't have the burger bun. Fries were great. Burger was solid. I'll give it 9.2. Whoa. Hey guys, I'm mad at you. <laughs> Is that really how that works? <laughs> okay, well, I, I had two guy, yeah. raspberry yeah. lemon drop martinis and a bacon cheese burger. Yes, fries. I'm going to rate it a nine. <laughs> I had a what? Shrimp roll, fries. Fries were good, and the rest of Madison's burger, good. <laughs> And I'm going to rate it a solid nine. Wow. <laughs> nine, nine point two, nine, nine. <laughs> Would you I'm Chase's dad. <laughs> Otherwise, Scrub, we had like seven of us had shrimp and grip cakes. It was good. The sauce was nice. I would say uh, 9.5. Wow. Whoa. Solid. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Can we do it together? Hi. Chase's mom and Mackenzie's mom. Mackenzie's mom. Um, we both had the shrimp and grit cakes, and I would give it a 10. I think it was excellent. Absolutely. They now, I have to have it. have it without the ham, but it is a 10. Hold on. I don't remember having it. I thought it was excellent. You had diced ham. Yeah. It was that little, it, was, like, it looked like, like bacon. bacon. <laughs> I think that in the history of seven people going to dinner is probably the highest rating we've ever given it across the board. No one, not one person rated it below a nine. Let's see. We must have had too much to drink. Oh, so flat. Happy Easter, everybody. Dad's teaching me how to make a fried egg right now. She already ruined it. Obviously, I know how to make eggs, but I usually never make this kind of egg. I make a scrambled egg. That looks so good. My fried egg with avocado and I put some red pepper flakes on it. This is in true Ashley form. I've got some strawberries and blackberries. That crazy pile that was sitting over here. Madison and I just went through it and she kept all this. This is what she wanted. Tons of workout sets and business casual wear and a lot of going out sweatsuits. And I ended up finding more things that I want to bring to Florida. Don't worry, it's not as much as it looks. It's just like in a crazy pile. And I also came up no, with, really and then I also came up with an entire um, laundry basket worth of Poshmark stuff. So it looks like that's gonna be how I'm spending part of my Easter Sunday. Is listing this. Sam did not have Easter plans today, so I was not planning on doing this, but. Just ended up listing tons of stuff to Poshmark. I posted about it like 20 minutes ago and literally already half of it has sold. So that's exciting. Tomorrow morning it looks like I'm going to be packaging some order. We're having Easter dinner at lunchtime today. Because Madison has to go back to school. Her favorite, her death row meal, stuffed shells. Just cozying up in bed. I'm going to put on a little bit of YouTube right now and I'm actually going to schedule out a YouTube short. I'm going to do three to four each week for the entire month. Um, I'm really meant to make this a habit all year and somehow we're a quarter of the way through and I have never gotten around to it but it's like one thing I really want to try out in April and see if it works. Help grow my YouTube channel a little bit. My goal is to hit um, 80k this month. I actually just did my like monthly spread 
in my planner and a goal set for the month and wrote down some of my plans. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. No matter how many times I talk about it, I always get questions on my planner. I use the Happy Planner from Create365. I use a size big and this is what it looks like. I have lots of fun, colorful stickers, and then I just made a to-do list generally for this week. Not exactly sure the breakdown of what my week's gonna look like, so it's pretty empty so far, but I'm really, really hoping to hit 80K on YouTube this month, 70K on Instagram, and 100K on TikTok. I know, like, kind of all three very big milestones and numbers for me, but I am, like, very close on all three platforms. So hopefully things will keep going in the direction that they have been. I'm at 98.6 right now on TikTok. I'm at 79.8 right now on YouTube and I'm at 68.8 on Instagram. That one I think is going to be the hardest. That one's going to take a, a mini miracle, but um, I'm excited. You guys know I'm usually an avid journaler. Um, and a horrible realization is that I actually have not written once this entire year been really off my grind and I kind of blame that on the fact that I finished a journal and for some reason starting a new one always feels really daunting to me but I got this from TJ Maxx and I'm about to start it and then I'm gonna start a new book tonight The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros her last book really dragged for me so I'm hoping this one's a little bit faster I hate books this size like this height you know what I mean but I have high hopes for it. I'm just hanging out, taking it easy. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this long week in my life at home. It was really good to just be back with the fam, back in a routine, and here at home. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you tomorrow for one more week in my life at home.